Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so if you'd caught my next clip, which I really hope you have, that it was all about the Waterman's uh, shampoo and conditioner, which we reviewed. So gave an honest opinion on this one. So if you want to know more on that one, please get over to that clip and certainly have a look. But moving on today, we are talking about the Scalp Elixir Serum. So if you like a scalp treatment for fine thinning, if you're concerned with your scalp, if you're concerned with how much hair you're losing, uh, possibly if you're noticing that your hair's becoming a little bit more less dense, or even just something as simple as you're struggling to keep a style, or you're seeing quite a lot of hair fall, perhaps your hair's lost its character a little bit, perhaps it's just being a bit lank and needs a bit of a, a bit more of a spirit boost it needs that much more injection of life and vitality, then you may look for a product like this. So a scalp elixir looks after your scalp and it tries to get your scalp much more healthier and in a position where it can grow much more healthier, thicker, fuller hair. So really to boost that optimum scalp environment for you to have the most uh, amazing hair growth, potentially. Okay, so let's talk about price-wise first of all. I think that's always a good place to start on here. So Waterman's, it is a much more of a premium end product, I feel. The reviews online are absolutely fantastic. Um, there are, oh, siren in the background. Hopefully that person's okay. Um, okay, so Waterman's shampoo and conditioner. Um, really great product to use. Unfortunately for me, I didn't have such a great experience, but I did find that the scalp elixir um, worked for me better than the shampoo conditioner. Um, what was the problem with my hair? I just didn't like the feel of how it was leaving my hair. Um, the scalp elixir, I really do like. It's got a lot of great ingredients in here. Um, so price wise, this is £25. Um, I've had to use two in the same period, which is getting on for four weeks now. Um, so it does go quite quickly. Uh, it's 100 mils, but because of the spray, it's quite a heavy spray. So it sprays out quite a lot. And you do need to cover your scalp, of course, to get that optimum effect and that, uh, that boost of that environment and all that nourishment from the product. Um, I've got some problems with my hair. It may not look like it at the moment, but since about May, underneath here, I've lost a lot more hair. Um, so that's predominantly why um, I'm using the product to hopefully boost and really put that injection of health back into my hair. Um, really great products in here, uh, ingredients, sorry, straight off, which we have got the hydrogenized lupin protein, um, which is known for bulking the hair out, and is lupin extract is really, really great for that invigoration of the scalp and the hair root cells. And it's very much along the lines of, you will find that in several hair loss uh, products. It's one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners, but Yves Rocher, that has that in there as well, and that works brilliantly. Um, so it's in here. Um, I can also, uh, one of my favorite products as well is the rosemary leaf extract in here, and, We've got biotin in here. Just don't want to miss any, which I haven't. There's a few other ingredients in here, which is great. It's great to see in here about boosting that optimum scalp uh, growth. So you've got the panothenol in here. You've got the biotin in here. You've got the rosemary leaf oil in here. You've got those great ingredients. Along with the shampoo conditioner, they have a lot of ingredients which should theoretically work together. Now, there's a lot of amazing reviews online, some of which Unfortunately, I will say they are a little bit far-fetched out there, um, which annoys me a little bit because the hype behind the product should be genuine, of course. And I think if you're trying to sell a product for something such as sensitive for men and women as hair loss and hair fall, then it needs to be true. There was a review which really made me annoyed, actually. Um, and somebody said that they grew their hair back within two weeks. Please, please, please. I said this in the shampoo and the conditioner um, review of mine as well. Have your expectations... <sighs> In the nicest possible way, try to rein them in and try to consider a, real, a realistic approach. Because for you to have noticed your hair thinning, it's been not weeks, it's been probably months, and then time you've noticed it, then it's become an apparent issue to you. But your hair has been changing for a while. Sometimes as much as six months I've read on online or in previous stories and things I've spoken to with people, or people have watched hair increasingly fall out, but yet not chosen to do something for a few months down the road. So please don't think that you're just gonna grow that back within two weeks. Remember, a product you should try and use for at least a three month period. So you have that intensity of those products and you've kind of got those ingredients in that hair cycle for a three month period. Um, I actually found the shampoo conditioner that I lost a little bit more hair. I say a little bit, on some days it was quite starking. Um, how, um, how much did come away uh, with my hair. And I haven't had that with many shampoos. Um, but from their website, I understand that um, as 
the ingredients work on the scalp and the uh, hair follicles, that it's it's pushing those old, those kind of affected follicles out in way of new healthy growth. So I'm going to go with that. So, but if you are alarmed with it, um, of course, then then everybody's hair is different. Then please consider yourself. Your hair is your own. It's a very very personal experience. Some products will work for people. Some it won't. Um, is there any? Let's talk about benefits. I think on the product now. So it does absolutely create volume and texture in the hair. I've got a little bit of it throughout my scalp today. Not too much. I try have tried not to use um, uh, very much to talk as I say it goes really quite quickly and I've used the last of it today so it's all gone now. Um, will I be purchasing another one because this is £50 don't forget so £25 each and now uh, the shampoo and the conditioner as a set is £28 so it is quite a premium end uh, product of course in terms of cost. Um, would I purchase the tonic again? I think if it was on offer because of the ingredients in here, like the bite in the parathenol, um, and the, especially the rosemary leaf extract in here, and because it gave me that bit of root lift, that bit of volume, which I'm always looking for in my hair, being I've got fine hair, but quite a lot of it, um, I would. In terms of fighting hair loss and hair fall, I'll be very honest, unfortunately, I never really did see too much benefit rather than actually bulking the hair out. So for me, it's very much a styling product rather than a treatment spray or a scalp elixir. Um, now, I know Waterman's would not agree with that because it is sold as a scalp elixir. And on the front here, it says boost your growth. Um, but for me, I didn't see any of that. In fact, actually, I've seen more hair come away. I do like the product, though, more than I do the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, in terms of cost, is it value for money? I'm on the fence with that again, and I know I said that about the shampoo conditioner. It is a great product, and I respect that. I mean, some pictures online of men and women, it's an incredible transformation. It's not unfortunately going to work for everybody, and I absolutely respect that. Um, but I can also respect that it is a good product with good quality ingredients in there as well. Have a look on the website yourself. The website is very, very good. There's lots of uh, information and help on there. And there's a whole family of different products to use. I know there's a scalp mask on there as well. And there is a heat protectant spray on there as well. But I think right from what their core products is, for me, if this doesn't work for me, then it does put me off from using the rest of the kind of the family of products. So for me, I didn't get on with the shampoo and the conditioner very well at all, um, and the scalp elixir spray, it was okay, um, I like it, as I said, if it was on a reduced price or on offer, I would buy it again, just because of the effect it had in the roots of my hair, that kind of a bit more of a thickening, fuller effect, but it, I mean, of course I haven't used it for the three month period yet, either, to give a fair evaluation of it, but I do think that up to about a month, you can get a fair representation of how that product is going to continue to deliver for you. Of course, a very, very personal experience hair is just like our skin. Some people's skin is completely different and requires so many different requirements and products and what will work for one person, unfortunately, won't work for another or positively will work for another. Um, slight negative, I will say on this, that if you've sprayed it in, it does tend to go quite hard. Um, and if you touch that, it does go into like quite a lot of a lot of bits, I'm afraid, unfortunately, and that's what I really didn't like either. Almost like, you know, if you've got like a real heavy hairspray or free spray and you go to touch it and it goes into like bits in your hair, that's what this does, strangely. Um, so I'm not really sure why that does that. Um, as I say, would it stop me from buying it again if it was on a special offer? No, it wouldn't, because I really do absolutely like the thickening effect which it does give. Um, and I mean, today I sprayed that all throughout my hairline, right the way through the top of my head. I used a blow dryer through my fingers and a rectangular brush, just straight back and then off to the side. Then I've used my fingers with uh, a bit of product, just straight the way through, um, pulled it off here and then left this out quite loose and sort of undone. And then at the sides, I've just sort of whipped that back over as well. And I really like that look and I think it really does suit me as well. Um, yeah, so that's the review today for that one. I really hope you've enjoyed that. Unfortunately, I'd love to have given it a five stars. I would give it a three, to be quite honest with you, and I don't really rate products at all. The shampoo conditioner, a three. Um, the treatment spray, three, maybe three and a half. But um, I respect that it's got great ingredients in there. On that basis, I absolutely love rosemary leaf extract as well, because um, that's got some incredible properties in there um, of really looking after the scalp, really looking after the hair follicles, invigorating them, boosting energy, stimulating growth, all those type of things. So really great to try um, if you're in that position to, of course, because of the cost of living crisis in this part of the world as well. And I know across the globe, everything just seems to be getting up more and more expensive for just a 100 mil treatment spray. I mean, that lasted me. 
well, we're into the fourth week, and I've gone through two, and for me to continue using it, I would need another. So that would be then getting on for £75. So a lot when you consider um, the price of everything at the moment as well in the world. Um, and this, of course, £28. You can make this last a bit more because it does lava really, really well. Um, conditioner, not so much for me. Really didn't get on with that at all. Um, but ultimately, give it a try for yourself. Um, from my experience, I'd let you know what I think. I really, really enjoyed doing that. Um, and thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. And I really do hope that you can join me. So God bless, take great care, and I'll see you then. Bye now.